Barack Obama's presidential foundation is just two years old, yet it is already going down the same corrupt path as the Clinton Foundation. The Daily Caller reported that the Clintons managed to convert their foundation from focusing solely on the presidential library in Little Rock, Arkansas to a $2 billion globe-trotting political influence peddling machine. It shifted from its declared uh, exempt purposes in 1998 to design, construct, and initially endow a presidential archival deposit to the vastly expanded 2004 description of dual missions of constructing and endowing the Clinton Presidential Center and Park in Little Rock, Arkansas and continuing the work of his presidency to strengthen the uh, capacity of people in the United States and throughout the world to meet the challenges of global independence. In the mission description given for the Obama Foundation's exemption application to the IRS, they offer a similar wide open mission but without the multiple intermediate steps taken by the Clintons. The, the Barack Obama Foundation will both plan and develop a presidential center for future activities, including the presidential library, a museum, a uh, broader campus, and engage in activities reflecting President Obama's values and priorities throughout his career in public service, expanding economic opportunity, inspiring an ethic of American citizenship, and promoting peace, justice, and dignity throughout the world. The foundation envisions a presidential center that through its mission initiatives and physical and virtual presence advances and interprets the themes of civic engagement, global uh, perspective, health and wellness, environmental stewardship, uh, public education, a spirit of innovation, and will become an anchor for economic development and cultivate a strong relationship with the library surrounding community. Wow, that was a mouthful. The text part includes a te uh, textual slate of hand that enables the Obama nonprofit to get quickly to the same point it took the Clinton operation six years to reach. Congress codified this model in the Presidential Libraries Act of 1955. The Obama Foundation said the act outlined the legal authority of the General Services Administration, GSA Administrator, to accept the gift of a presidential ar archival depository and to maintain, operate, and protect it as part of the National Archive System. Clearly, the Obama Foundation badly wants to be the next Clinton Foundation. Share this story if you think the Obama and the Clintons are incredibly corrupt. Uh, we already know that. Um, let us know what you think in the comments below and thank you so much for watching.